Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ship Views with me, Carburetor. Today we are going to be looking at the sequential bundles that you can find in the armory. Now, a lot of people don't like sequential bundles. I don't like them either. Not this one, though. I don't like the random sequential bundles that you get for, like, the American release battleships like you have right here. Those I hate. These, I actually really appreciate. So these are just the sequential bundles that you can spend about... I believe it's like 9,000 doubloons, and you get way more value than the 9,000 doubloons. You know, I kind of figure this as a BOGO sale, almost, where you you have to remember that Wargaming has to keep the lights on. You know, a lot of people are very much anti-spend money on the game. They don't want you spending money on the game. They And I totally get it. I totally get it. A lot of the crap on here, I feel, is overpriced. I feel if they were to lower the price a little bit they'd get more people into the game they'd get more people buying stuff in game and they'd make it so it's more fun to play but at the same time i kind of get that they that they can't do that you know i it, it's their game i'll let them run it as they want but anyway let's get into this so you should see a spreadsheet coming up on here shortly if editor alex remembers to put it in here you know, me and him have been getting into it a little bit lately but um <laughs> Um, you can see that I have just this little spreadsheet here to put all the numbers into context to figure out what we are looking at. Some people like my spreadsheets, some people don't, but it's my, it's the easiest way that you can do to figure out just what is everything worth. So let's start at the top. Journey to the West Container. I put an approximate value of that of 750 doubloons. You know, I figure this is just the base container. It's not that special. 750 doubloons. Special bonuses container, again, not that not that special, 750 doubloons. Premium account, that's pretty self-explanatory. You go up into your inventory tab and you can click on uh, purchase inventory or purchase premium. 250 doubloons for a day, two days, 500 doubloons. Rare bonuses container. I gave that a value of 1250 just because that's kind of what I'm seeing as far as container prices. If you come down here and look at the Journey to the West premium container, they are also 1250 So that's what I put a value on. 2000 coal. Now, I did round the value on some of these, like some of the ones I had to calculate on just to make the, the spreadsheet a little bit more pretty because it's kind of weird when you have decimal points on there. <laughs> just saying. Y you can't spend a tenth of a doubloon. But for 2,000 coal, I put an approximate value of uh, 185. I'd recommend going and looking at the value of coal video that I made. It's really good. It's really in-depth. And it shows you if, if a coal that you're buying in something like this is worth it. Two of the Journey to the West containers at 750 doubloons. That's 1,500 doubloons. Provident Sailors Pack. That was a little bit more difficult. So if we go down to the Provident Sailors Pack in here, you can see that you that you basically get five of each signal. I would say that one signal of each is probably worth about 100 doubloons. Put it at five, that's 500 doubloons. If you guys agree or disagree, please let me know in the comment section so that I can adjust it for the future. That's the only way I'm able to figure out if my math is accurate or enough on something like this is if you guys agree or disagree with it. If you guys agree with it, please let me know. If you disagree with it, please also let me know. That way I can, again, adjust for the future. Journey to the West Premium Container. We have 1250 doubloons right there. That's just what they are for sale for down below this sequential pack. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Two of the rare bonuses containers. The rare bonuses containers, again, were the 1250 ones, so 2,500 doubloons. Two million credits. That's, again, pretty easy. Just go up to the, your credit page or to your credits tab on here. Click purchase credits. How many are two million credits? It's a million credits. Or that's a million or a thousand doubloons. Now, I do realize that mine is probably going to be a little bit different because I am running the premium battle pass. But I think that that also reflects the fact that you're buying in bulk. So it, my numbers are going to be maybe a little bit more different than yours, but that's the numbers I have to go with right now. Two of the Journey to the West premium containers, 2,500 doubloons, 40,000 free XP, that's 1,600 
the balloons. And again, that's just what the conversion rate is. I get that it's probably going to be different for you if you're not running the premium battle pass, but that's what I have to go on. And I think that's a pretty fair value. Super container, I put 1500 balloons for the super container on there. If you guys agree or disagree with that value, again, please put it in the link or in the comment section down below. That way I can know if I need to adjust that. I figured super container, that's a pretty valuable container. Give 1500 balloons. Eight of the journey to the west containers, that's just eight times 750. That's 65 there. That's 6,000 6, doubloons. I don't know why I'm stuttering so much and tripping. A thousand commander XP. So if you go into some of these containers that you can buy up here for coal, you'll see that they'll give you either 7,500 elite commander XP or 3,000 free XP. That's a ratio of 2.5 to 1. So all I did was I did. 100,000 divided by 2.5, or yeah, divided by 2.5, and then I converted that. Well, 1,000 times 2.5 just happens to be 40,000. So, again, same value as the 40,000 free XP, so that's what I put on here. So if you guys see that, and you guys are kind of wondering what the heck is Carburetor doing here, that's where I got that value from. Three of the Journey to the West Premium Containers, that's 3750. 17,000 cold. I gave that a value of 1,575 doubloons. Two of the unique bonuses containers. Uh, that, yeah, 1,500 doubloons. And then the premium ship seven container. So there's a little bit of math that I had to do on there also. So you might be sitting there scratching your head going, what's with the 7,800 doubloons for a premium ship seven container? Well, what I did is I took all of the, the ships that you can buy for doubloons. I did not just look at the one. I did not look at the ones that are for coal. I did not look at the ones that you can only buy for money. I only looked at the doubloon value ships. All I did was I added them all up, divided them out to get an average, and then I times it by 0.9 to give you 90% the value. And I did that because you aren't getting to choose the tier 7 ship. You might get lucky and get one that's worth 10,000 doubloons. You might get unlucky and get one that's worth 5,000 doubloons. That it, there's a huge spread between tier 7 ships on doubloon value. If we come in here and look, do, 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 you can see Duke of York is 10,100 doubloons. But you go all the way down to the bottom and Bliskavika is 5,100 doubloons. That is half the value. That is a half value spread. That's insane. That's like having a tier 10 ship or a tier 9 ship. Let I'll, I'll look at tier 9 ships because that's actually the ones that you can actually see for doubloons. That's like having one that's 19,300 doubloons and having one that's 8,000 doubloons. That's an insane spread. That is huge. I don't know why they have such a huge spread, but they do. So I averaged it all out, times it by 0.9, and it came out to about 7,800 doubloons. So where does this leave us? That leaves us with a with a uh, summed value of the purchase cost of 8,981 doubloons, so about 9,000 doubloons, for 38,000 doubloon value. Now I realize that, again, this is not exact. This is not, hey, this is what it's worth. Go buy it. This is very much subjective. This is very much opinionated. If you agree or disagree, that is your opinion. You are more than welcome to it. And I encourage you to form your own opinion. This is just my opinion expressing this. But let's get to what you guys actually came here for and not just for me talking. And that is actually opening and purchasing these containers. So let's head into the armory here. And again, I will say these are a great way if you're into if you're into the grind, if you're grinding out ships, this is the best way to do it. I'll say that right now. Now, I will say this. I have all the tier seven ships, so I'm not going to get anything from this. The only thing I'm going to get is 12 th is 12 million doubloons. So or not doubloons, <laughs> credits. I'm going to get 12. It would be really nice if I got 12 million doubloons. I'll be getting 12 million credits. So. I really shouldn't be doing this because it's not that valuable for me, but I'll do it just so you guys can see it. So let's go ahead and let's purchase all these.
let's head into the uh, containers here. Let's view all containers. Let's start with the premium ship container just to get that out of the way. Yay, 12 million credits. Let's let's get the super container out of the way. That's always a nice container to have. Oh, it looks like I actually screwed up there. So I'm actually going to put a value of 500 on the special bonuses, 750 on the rare bonuses and unique bonuses. I'm going to put an updated um, spreadsheet here at the end that you guys can see that because, again, I'm it, it's difficult sometimes to keep track of all these damn containers that they have in game now. But let's go ahead. Let's open these two. These should just be the gray bonuses. Nope, those are green. Yeah, green, blue, and red. That's what it is. Let's open the unique bonuses. All right, let's open up the regular of the Journey to the West containers first. Let's see if we get anything. I have all the premium ships, so I'm not going to get anything fancy. Looks like I got four days premium, 4,000 coal, plus a few of the... Plus a few of... The uh, green econ bonuses. Now let's open these. Looks like I got 8 days premium, 1250 coal, a crap load of elite commander XP, and a bunch of free XP on the blue. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I. Sorry if I was a little stuttery. I'm still a little tired, still waking up a little bit. Wanted to try and get this out to you guys before noon today. Might happen and might not. Anyway, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!